Hello guys, I'm Vladislav Novitsky. Today's video is about the color grading techniques in DaVinci Resolve and the most important about the correct color balancing of the shot without using temp and tint, which in my opinion is the worst thing you can do when you're trying to get the best looking results. While color grading is my passion, I want to share my process about how I'm doing that in my projects and also show some tips and tricks so you could use them in your workflow. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. So guys, we are in DaVinci Resolve and we have one beautiful shot. It's a commercial style shot here. And as you see, this shot is graded already. And as I told you before, we're gonna be talking about the correct color balancing of this shot. And I wanna show you why I don't use temp and tint for that, because this never gives you the best looking image. So first of all, let's turn off the color grading and we'll leave just the balancing note. So we have the CST in, CST out, exposure and balance. Okay, so let's just reset this note and try to balance the shot with a temp and tint. As you see, an image is way too warm here. And yes, this is the red raw file and I can go to the raw settings and change the white balance here. But I want to show you the way if this look is already baked in in an image. As we see, an image is way too warm, so we have to cool it down. In a temp and tint way, we will go to the temperature and push it towards the blue. I'm looking at his clothes now and I want to get the pure white here. So let's push it even more and a bit more. Yes, and maybe we're adding a bit of green here. So something like that, maybe the blue a little bit back. Okay, so I see that his clothes became white now, but we have a really saturated skin tone and reddish background. So as an amateur, we'll go to the secondaries, grab the hue versus saturation and desaturate his skin tone and something like that. Maybe come back to the primary wheels. So we'll drop down the lift, maybe some gamma. So yeah, maybe a little bit more contrasty look. So this is the way when you are using the temp and tint. Let's save this version. Okay, and we're gonna try to, to make the full color balance in the primary wheels now. And I will show you that this is the best way to do that. Okay, let's reset this note. And we have the same warm picture here. First of all, I start working with an offset and then play with another wheels to get the best looking results. So let's grab an offset and push the red down. Let's push it strongly, something like that. Then push the green down. I think something like here will be cool. And then push the blue up until we get the whites here. As you see on the waveform, it became white. I think maybe a bit more blue. Yeah, something like that. I like that a lot, but we have a problem. We get a lot of bluish tint in the shadows. So we have to deal with that. Let's go to the lift and drop down the blues. We are dropping them something like minus seven and add some red. Maybe a bit more. Yes, yeah, somewhere here. But now we get the red tint in our image. So if you go up in the lift, you have to go down in gamma to compensate the color difference. So we grab the gamma red channel and push it down. Maybe something like minus six in an opposite direction, maybe minus seven. It's okay. And then grab the blue channel and push it up until we get the best skin tone here. I'm looking at his skin and also on the whites. As I see, the whites became a little bit bluish here. So I grab the gain, the highlight, and push the blue down. Maybe something like that. And then grab the red channel and push it up while my whites became white again yeah, and a bit less with the blue 
yeah, something like that. And as I see, the picture is now pushed a little bit towards magenta. So I grab the green channel in gamma and push a little bit higher. I'm looking at the vector scope to get his skin tone sitting on the skin tone indicator line. So now it looks perfect for me. And we have even blacks a little bit bluish here. So we can go and drop down the blue in the lift. Yeah, something like that. And maybe add some red here a bit. Yeah. So we can check it now before and after before and after as you see it's a huge difference and we can compare it with the previous version temp and tint so for example this is the temp and tint and this is ours temp and tint and ours as you see it's a huge difference so let's go and turn on other notes and this is the final look as you see we've done a huge work in just one note before and after and for example let's go to the temp and tint version and turn on the notes here there are the same notes and we'll see the final result done with the temp and tint so as you see it's a huge difference here once again our result and the temp and tint so that's it for this video guys and if you're interested in the full color grading process of the shot with all the tricks i'm using here i will add a new video soon so hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye